back to story time. In today's book, keep watching because there will be a special guest. Today's book is called Sloth at the Zoom, written by Helene Becker, illustrated by Orby. One bright day, a truck whizzed up to the front gate of the Zoom. There was a new animal being delivered. It was a sloth. It took a long time for the Zoom keepers to get the sloth out of the truck. First, they had to wake her up. Then, she needed a sip of water and a bit of a stretch too. When she finally looked around, the sloth was perplexed. You see, she thought her new home would be pretty laid back. But this was the Zoom, not the zoo. At the Zoom, the zebras galloped so fast, they left their stripes in puddles. The monkeys climbed so fast, they forgot to stop at the treetops. And the parrots flew so fast, their tails drew rainbows across the sky. What's all this flutter and fuss about? wondered the sloth. After a few weeks, the sloth was ready to make a new friend. She called out, Hello, Cheetah! Where are you going in such a rush? No time to chat. Busy, 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 said the cheetah. Don't you have anything to do? The sloth nodded. Of course! I have to listen to the later, the sloth called to the monkeys. Hello! Would you like to hang with me? Can't stop now! The monkeys screeched. We're running ever so late. They raced up and down and round and round the jungle gym. The sloth shrugged her shaky shoulders. Then she chose a comfy spot where the sun's golden rays would tickle her belly all day long. A few weeks after that, the sloth flagged down the zebras as they zipped by. I like your stripes, she called. They whinnied their thanks without stopping. The sloth sighed. <sighs> she shook her shaggy head. No one here has any time. Quite so, a voice replied. The sloth looked up. Nothing. The sloth looked down. There, cupped in a philodendron leaf, was a snail. said the sloth. Nice to meet you. There was a long silence. Then the snail said, Since you don't seem too busy, perhaps you'd care to have a snack with me? There was another long, comfortable pause. I'd be delighted, said the sloth. But this could take a while. I'm in no hurry, 
applied the snail. When the sloth arrived at the snail's leaf, they shared a bite. Then they shared a cool drink. And as the setting sun adorned the sky, they shared a contented sigh. <sighs> the monkey swung over. What are you doing? Sloth offered them some iced tea. Next came the cheetah. What's going on? Snail offered her a sweet green leaf to nibble on. Mind if we join you? Asked the zebras. Everyone shuffled to make some room. And as day became night and night became day, the animals at the zoo slowed down. Just long enough, that is, to become fast friends. <laughs> Aw, thank you for coming, Sloth. And by the way, my sister has a serious sloth obsession. I just love them so much. <laughs>